In this guitar lesson, you're gonna learn how to play the 12 bar blues with kind of a country twist to it. We got two rounds of the progression, both in the key of G, and we're gonna add a ton of country sounding riffs to this. We'll add some triplets to make the riff sound fancier. Also gonna add in some cross picking to replace certain sections of the strumming to make your rhythm sound fancier and even more country. So overall, awesome lesson. Think y'all are gonna like this a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Let's pull up the first round of the progression on the screen, pull up tablature, and give y'all some good tips. And after we get through that, we'll, we'll pull up the second round of the progression, work through that as well. So on the screen, we got the first line of the tablature. Now let me play through this first line, you can hear it, and then I'll show y'all a couple quick things. So in that first measure, you see, uh, and actually for all four of these measures on the screen, we're holding a G major chord, basically, you know, the entire time. Except for, you know, when we get to the fourth measure, we're gonna lift up and play a riff built around the G chord. But in measure one, we're gonna be holding the G chord and we're just gonna do pick, strum, pick, pick, strum, strum. Pick, strum, pick, pick, strum, strum. And one thing here, when I'm playing this G chord, I'm actually not pressing my left pointer finger down at all. It's just floating up there. And uh, I'm muting the fifth string with kind of the base of my, uh, the back of my left middle finger. So mute that fifth string, strum through right there. Reason is we're gonna leave that pointer up so we can do some hammer on stuff later on. But anyways, measure one, pick, strum, pick, pick, strum, strum. And that's just one of those awesome country and bluegrass strumming patterns that you can use over a bunch of other chords. So if you've never used that strumming pattern, probably a good idea to get that one down. It takes a little pick control, but it really sounds awesome. So anyways, back to this uh, first line. That was measure one. Pick, strum, pick, pick, strum, strum. And in measure two, the beginning of it, we're still holding the G chord down, but we're just gonna do pick, 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 pick. Four picks in a row. alternate picking, down, up, down, up. And this is another thing that I like to do to replace strumming, to kind of do this. It's another rhythm technique that you can do to spice up your country rhythm. So that's the beginning of measure two there. But then we're gonna do a quick hammer on with that left pointer finger, we got it available. So that's the end of measure two. Pick, hammer, pick, pick. Pick, hammer, pick, pick. So all together, measures one and two. Pause the video if you want to work on measures one and two, but let's move on to measures three and four. Measure three, exact same strumming pattern we just did. Pick, strum, pick, pick, strum, strum. Exact same. But then in measure four, we're gonna do this riff. One of those 
those standard country and bluegrass G licks. All eighth notes. So let's play this line one more time and then we'll move on to the next part. And next we've got measures five through eight. So in measure five, you see that we switch to a C chord standard C major chord and at the end of measure five we've actually got a triplet triplet pick strum pick pick triplet pick strum pick pick triplet pick strum pick pick triplet can't tell the left hand it's actually pretty simple You're just holding the C major chord and to play the triplet you just pick the fourth string pull off with your left middle finger so and then just pick on the fifth string right after that triplet. and if you're newer to triplets a triplet is just when you take three notes and play those in the space of two notes, where two notes normally would be. So in this case, um, we would have, we get, this is an eighth note triplet because we got two eighth notes basically, but we're playing three notes where two eighth notes would normally belong. If that makes sense. Pick, strong, pick, pick, triplet. So anyways, pause if you wanna work on measure five. But then let's just add on measure six. Still holding down the C chord. Doing a little bit with the left middle finger. Starting with the hammer on at the beginning. And then lifting it back up. five and six. Let's combine them. The timing is a little bit tricky in measure six. Uh, pause the video if you want to work on those two measures, but um, let's move on. Let's add on measure seven and eight right here. Measure seven, it's a basic G lick. that one and play that in the first line.